So I tried to make this video very short, right? But it's impossible. There's so much options to cover. And even if I cover the half of it, the video is going to be so long. So what should, should, should I cover? Like just, just to say is it looks nice and that's it. Because they're offering so much stuff for your money. I have to cover them, right? All right. Even, even the display, right? Display right here. Watch. Display shows every single details. Like, Hey guys, Mike is back with another video. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Ron Hood power station, right? This is after so many research, I, I need some power station. I did a tons of research in the market. You can see it's up so many, so many uh, the power stations. But this is, I got this one, right? The Ron Hood. This is absolutely different than any, any other uh, the power stations. On this video, I'm gonna give you the three big reasons why you should get this uh, unit and the three big reasons why you should stay away from this. Like, just don't buy it, like, buy different stuff, right? Uh, the wrong hood designers or developers, they work before they're working with the power station, before the batteries, they work how they're gonna do the ecosystem, right? For the, with the wrong hood. That's the first, my uh, the favorite stuff. They developed the design wise in the battery system and the internals, right? The capacities and the MOSFETs, everything is, works different than any other uh, the power stations, right? Any units I previous, I was doing the research, the batteries built in the battery. So you have to send to the company, you're gonna pay for the batteries. Uh, it, it's a lot of headache. The wrong hood, what they do it, so let's watch. What, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just click this button, this comes with the covers and you slide the battery in. Watch, slide the battery in right one battery and you have a power station right also you have to slide the second battery and all the batteries comes with the uh integrators the lights yeah the five lights that to uh 20 percent each right you slide the second battery now the most battery systems when you're disconnecting the battery and they're connecting the battery they have internal problems right because it's the amperage it's going to be jumped like a big time what they run hood did they put the in, in, inside like expensive capacitors. So inside the, in the capacitors, I'm gonna give you the two technical, right? So you have enough power to switch between the batteries. So no matter, even you running the wrong hood, right? You, you're running it like full, uh, the power. You can just pull the one battery out. Nothing's gonna happen. No blinking, not, the power output is gonna be exactly the same. Just the time level, it's gonna be the drops for the half, right? Also, you charge the battery to separate. You charge the battery, running the one battery. You charge it for the full fast charger, or you, you bring the battery, you slide in, you pull the another one, right? For example, is the wrong one. Even this LED is not blinking, so so much power is inside. And the MOSFET also they use is not a cheap MOSFET, so really, really good design, like what, what they think. So now, any, I'm, I'm gonna come back with the, for the lights. Any power station you buy, you're never gonna cut the half battery and take with you, right? What the run hood did, you can have smaller, a lot lighter version of the run hood, right? And you're gonna buy this unit right here. And it saves the same separate. If you break it, if you, if you lost it, you, if you damage it, if you burn it out of warranty time, you just order another one. And the huge plus is Amazon Prime. You order it tomorrow, you're gonna have it. So the battery, watch. Now is a huge capacity with the two USB out and two USB C. The plus, this guy, the separate battery is charged from the USBs too, right? Like when the designers are sitting, like actually like the guys with the brain, they're designing every single parts, right? So now you don't need the USBs, right? You're not out. You need the power extension. Another system right here. This is AC out. What are you gonna do? You're gonna just connect this. Now you have AC, super easy, right? Now you have AC out system. The battery indicator shows, so you have a half battery. Now you don't need the big power, right? You need the for for the friends to to power it. So you gotta just connect this. <laughs> now you have a half battery. What system? It's gonna it's it's offered to you that much options, right? I'm gonna come to functionality for this. You just wait, right? So now you don't take this. All right, you, you throw it to the charger, it's the separate the system with the USB-C, or you, you want to run the more power, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna order another two batteries, right? So now, you have the batteries, 
the bunch of batteries. You can charge these batteries, separate like circulate, so unlimited time you, you put the two batteries. Also, you can order the cables. You see this? For the two batteries. You connect it, you, you know the, the, this side, it's gonna be uh, for the power socket or the, the vehicle or the solar system. So you can do whatever you wanna do, right? <laughs> you can charge at the exact same time, you can switch the, between the batteries while you're running your AC, whatever the unit you're running, right? You need the electricity all the time. You can switch the batteries without any problem, without blinking the electricity, without damaging your expensive uh, the ele electro electronics, right? Comes with the really nice bag, as you can see. This is a, for the solar panels already, uh, the extensions. I'm gonna order, you see this part? So it's gonna connect. This guy is gonna go exactly the same for the solar panel, one, two, three, that's it. You charge it, right? Another side, it's gonna be charging from the uh, 12 volt from the vehicles, RVs, uh, the vehicles, motorcycles, whatever. You have a 12 volt uh, regular cig cigarette lighter. You can charge these bad boys. You're taking the travel, you're using the, on the RV, uh, you, you charge without any problems, right? So, so much options. Now, the last thing, it was a power brick, right? This is supercharger. These guys are charged very fast around hood. So the charging system is gonna be on the front right here. You see that? You plug it and you're gonna start the, from the AC, the power back up. This guy is gonna get a little bit hot, but it's charged very, very quick, the both batteries. On the top, you have a flashlight. Flashlight, they didn't just put the just a regular flashlight, so to be the flashlight, right? Because you have a huge system you're gonna use in the RVs, you're gonna use in the electrons. They put like monster flashlight. All right, we're gonna see how's the LED is gonna be performed. Pitch dark. <laughs> this is a flashlight. Really, really good, useful, super bright flashlight. And if you're using this flashlight in this mode, oh, the bunny is right here. So in this mode, yeah, look at this. So the, all the companies, they, they can put like bullshit, like LED lights, so you, you can see some, something, but this is powerful flashlight. So everything they use in this system, they use the quality. So now, the very informative display, right? One click. So you have a two section on the bottom. So section on the left, so you have AC output. In the button you have so special when you click it's gonna be turned on ac output watch the how strong this powerful this unit you shouldn't please guys you shouldn't do this but for the experiment i did this video as i said before if you have a run hood you don't have any problem you can build your house <laughs> without any problem i got a bunch of the high power uh the tools so what are we gonna do we're gonna start from the jigsaw it is gonna work the jigsaw or not it's gonna pull the jigsaw or not uh 600 we're gonna turn on Run without any problems. Only thing I gotta change the blade. Blade is bad. So the next it's gonna be most powerful. I think it cannot run this, but we're gonna test it, right? We have to do all the experiment. 600 watt output. All right. So you guys, you shouldn't use this kind of power. Uh, the units. This is it consuming a lot of power, but we're gonna test it, right? No problem. Um, I was testing all these units. Plus, you can charge from the battery, your battery. If you need emergency, the power output for your uh, the batteries for the power tools uh, is charging without any problems. And it's uh, pulling 41, 41 watt hours, and it will charge your uh, the power tools if you need emergency, some to fix something, right? This vacuum has a three uh, the pins, right? They made the hole here. And if you put the upside down, it's gonna be this way. If you put it this way, it's gonna be that. Again, guys, don't use the high power uh, units like this, but this is, I'm showing the emergency situation, right? When you finish. You can vacuum out. Clear it, clear it. And then everything is perfect, it works. Even if I use um, these high powers, as you can see, the uh, the pen is didn't work yet. So it means it has a, some power, some juice in it, right? 
don't use those kind of power buttons but in the emergency situation like really you need something to build to hide from the zombies or <laughs> zombie apocalypse so you, you need it you, you can use it but don't do it it's gonna it's gonna damage your system maybe other side you have a two usb c exactly same output and input and two usb output right or the both usb is strong also you have a uh, cigarette lighter output as you can see here that's why it's like uh, the, my favorite uh, the unit to use it right so enough power the best voltage and the wattage for the price you guys paying and the reason why is like well, when i see the by the technical details like comparing with the other units i was buying it imagine you're buying exactly the same power output with the built-in the batteries you're never gonna get it half batteries to use right on this guy you just change the battery after two years hardly use if you kill the battery you just go to amazon order boom you have a half battery later on you can order the second battery you're not gonna spend tons of money to bring up all the batteries right or you like like me you just order a bunch of batteries and enjoy your units right so this is the all the good stuff why you should buy this unit right uh, the beautiful color every time it says you see in the corner you want to do something like orange color it's it's pushed me like just do it do it something like be creative find a way to use this unit right this it's it's calling you to push it if you're too lazy if you want to just the watch the tv and the lady on the ca couch you don't want to do anything else definitely stay away from this unit right because the, this unit is going to pull you up if you broke you don't have money of course you stay away from this or the last third thing stay away from this unit if you want to power entire house like mine <laughs> this is not the generator right this is for active people to use the path power instantly any corner or any anywhere else or you just throw in your uh the trunk when you get in the long trips you never know what's gonna happen in the trips also you never worry about these batteries again or you can just take the, this battery like that and you can go to your couple days motorcycle trip all right when you're riding the motorcycle you charge the battery when you're staying your motorcycle dies anything like that you can boost the motorcycle in charge your phone when you're sleeping in your camp Whew. so this is a proof why is the best unit for the price for now to 2023 2024 i don't think any company is going to be built same quality for the same price and there's so much options uh, you can do it that, that's amazing big thumbs up for the wrong hood guys thank you for bringing amazing product for to the market and the people like me like they, we will enjoy it right hope this video it finds you helpful right i'm out i'll see you in the next video